Okay, so now we're getting the lift under the Yaris. This is mostly because the exhaust isn't really hanging on anything right now. The hangers are laying down, so I gotta get under there and try to figure out what's going on. Plus it's leaking. I might be able to at least tape it for the time being, see what needs fixed and whether it's worth fixing. <laughs> And uh, the lift master's over there setting them up. Kit is the master of lining everything up on these. And up it goes. Even the little egg pod will fit on it. Go wiggle. Wiggle waggle. Wiggle everything. Wiggle waggle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's not a problem. Weight distribution on these Yaris platform cars from Toyota is surprisingly or, good. A whole lot better than GM, 90s GM, old GM, probably new GM. Set, set, and then down a little bit to set it. There we go. Now let's look at this exhaust. It's exhausting. Okay. But now well, that one's torn, so that boot's torn completely. This exhaust was put in here weird. That whole clip has given up from wherever it was welded. At least the other one's still on. They put a new they put a new muffler on. But the tubing between the ca the converter and the muffler is junk. And why is that wet? Is my fuel tank leaking? Ah, uh, no. It didn't look like it. So the shielding's falling off again. Yep. Well, no, it's still it's still zip tied up there. That hole's holding just fine. I only zip tied it to the brake cables. It's the parking brake. It's fine. So, I think they pulled this muffler off of something else. It, it did they not put fit it on here because that mounting tab is for. Mm -hmm. It looks like that mounting tab was already welded to that muffler, and they tried to make it work by just wedging it over to that yeah. and bending the pipe behind it's it. It's all messed up. And this pipe leaks in multiple places, so it sounds bad. I'm guessing where that water is is probably leak hole. I've got heat in here to try to get any water that was in it out, but the fact that, well, the fact that it took a lot of gas, all the gas it's really made to hold. Heat, as in H-E-E-T, not H-E-A-T. Yeah. The product. Yep. Hopefully it'll get out. There's a few spots under here. I can use some undercoat, but it's in good shape. Otherwise, other than that, exhaust. So, trying to get these hangers figured out. So at least it's got at least this point supported again, and see if I can't find a hole and maybe wrap it in some high temp stovepipe uh, tape. The exhaust is over here. Yeah, I think it's right where it's wet. It's, yeah. It's right here at this hanger. Yep, that's why there's water dripping down there because, yeah. There's water dripping here too, so it's leaking here as well. It's leaking here, it's leaking there, and I think it's leaking there. So, yeah, I need... And they welded it to the cat, so great. <sighs> Fun times. Look at these massive springs. Look at how big these massive springs are. <laughs> you can All the compress them with your hand strength. <laughs> They're almost mattress spring sized. <laughs> We're plus size people. <laughs> what does it do with a knife? Toyota suspension sponsored by what is that company that makes it? Big Fig. <laughs> PurpleMattress.com 
I must say I am impressed with A, the weight distribution on the Yaris, and B, Quick Jack themselves, not a sponsor. Definitely not a sponsor. I paid for this. But uh, it seems to work quite well right now. So I would say they could be because I've been impressed with their product. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. I got that braced up. I got... We got this part that came off of the exhaust over there off because there's not really anything we can do with that. And I am probably replacing a good bit of this exhaust at some point because uh, it's almost Swiss cheese. They've done, there's been patches made and rewelds, and this, this exhaust is awful. So it's not, yeah, it needs replaced. So we've got that. And I cut this off, which was fun. It tore itself and then I had to cut it which was yeah interesting we got it off now we're gonna try to get beat the front wheel off because they're pressed on <laughs> and there we go and we will try the uh, other wheel just see how they look it actually does look really good on the car I just gotta figure out what color <laughs> Who knew the first-gen Prius had such style? And it fits good, no scrubbing, doesn't hit anything. Those are some inadvertently really rare tires, we, or really rare rims we've scratched the heck out of. Well, the, in, in our defense, two of them have really horrible curb rash, and the other two have curb rash. So, they were pretty chewed up to start with. But, uh, it's... 100 bucks for a set of alloys. Really rare, but really rare in the U.S. market. Mm -hmm. I don't know if those came on anything else, Toyota, in the uh, other than that in Prius. Other markets, but yeah, first gen Prius, not very many sold in the U.S. Yeah. So they look good. I just got to figure out what color they fit up. The new lugs, the weird Toyota insert used on Lexus and. TRDs and yeah, your your heavy 21 millimeter Toyota lugs as opposed to your 19 standard that's on the rest of it. So I and of course that's going to get cut out. Um, I'll worry about the farty leaky exhaust and it sounds better than a lot of the ex regular exhaust. So I guess it's not so bad. It sounds kind of like a fart can. Not my style, but whatever. <laughs> It'll do until I can afford to replace the exhaust because that's my determination laying under there is that I've got to replace the exhaust, not just patch it. So, this is going to be more immediate. Look at, like it. Just trying to decide. White, uh, the, the colors I'm leaning toward, like I said, I got that blue, I've got white. I've considered uh, not black black, but they have something that's called black steel or black stainless. It's kind of a uh, charcoal black gray. And uh, I've had some people say pink. I just don't know about pink on this car. I like pink and gray, but I think more of 50s cars, not modern cars with that color combination. Mm hmm um but yeah so at least the wheels fit and look good and clear the brakes and all that so they will work they look good i just got to figure out how i want to finish them toyota i have a question for you why do the wheels on your tiny cars have to press on <laughs> it's like okay it's on there i just loosed it uh now i gotta get a hammer to get it off well, the, the nice thing about it, it will hold on there without lugs <laughs> for a little while. <laughs> uh, now we're starting something new. Came up with an idea with the old busted up head cats. We painted that one to test uh, a primer. And it's a darkish gray. It looks kind of good with the car, but now we're doing the others. And uh, that one's still alloy. That one is the blue that I got to try. And this one is gonna be the white I got to try. 
what you need in the coat now. Yeah, I know it's not a great job, but this is just quick. And uh, let that dry, and I'm going to put all these on the car, and uh, see how they look. That blue, if it wasn't a satin finish, I don't know, I'm, I kind of like the satin finish more as it dries. I'll see it on the car. But, uh, nowhere near the turquoise that I had originally thought of doing, or the dark purple. And then, of course, you have black, like it's been on there, just the black steel wheels. Which I wanted something other than black. So here we start with paint thinner. It's paint stripper and uh, cheap brush, but it's a brush. It's wood, metal, and boar bristle. So actual hair. So you don't want to do plastic because a lot of times this stuff allegedly. will eat through the plastic. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. We'll see if it melts. It's 100% bristle. 100% bristle made in an Indonesia. And uh, glass container because this stuff will eat through some plastics and stuff. But let's see if this will actually take this paint off. Watch it be some kind of aluminum coating that's made of metal, not paint. Mm hmm. Like. They attached it through electrolysis or some crap. Stuff's kind of strong, but we've got everything open, so it's ventilating. And I put it in a box, so if it gets too bad, I can take it outside. And I pull the valve stem with a pair of pliers, so it's out of there. Make sure you get inside the uh, lug hole. Oh, yeah. And I'll get the back side of the wheel. If this works, I'll get the back side of the wheel too. What are you doing to this poor spider? I don't know why it's in here. It's gonna get drunk. I think if you get that on the inside of the rim, you're gonna open up a whole can of worms you don't wanna deal with. Well, I'm gonna paint the inside, so. Like where the tire goes? No, 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 not in there. In in here. Inside of the outside. There's a. It, that sounds like a bad song. Inside of the outside. No, we could have posed these off first. Yeah, we could have. We'll do that with the other ones. It'll melt the paint dust that I've sanded into all the crevices. I had a system, then I lost it. You're welcome. You're missing a spot. I'm missing all kinds of spots, I'm sure. Side of the bulb? I have. Oh. Well, it's you're already fighting. starting to bubble. Yeah, it's starting to get paint stuff seems to be coming off, so we'll see how this does. Give it time. I painted this with some gray enamel at one point. His one of his old hubcaps, and I got the idea. You know, we're trying to debate what color to paint the wheels. That color matches pretty well. But Okay, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? They're still drying, so I can't put them on the car yet, but here's the white, and here's the blue. And they both actually look good. I really like this white. It's kind of sparkly. I kind of want to look at, at getting a, maybe doing a base coat with this white, and then getting a, a white flake of some kind over the top. Maybe? The blue's not bad either. I just don't know about the 
Satin, Satin. as opposed to the shiny. Satin's a little weird. And um, it may look a little different once it's fully dry. But I'm going to take these inside so they quit getting so many bugs stuck to them. Well, everyone knows that the best paint jobs start with lots of mosquitoes in the paint that you have to buff out later. Uh-huh. So, we've got this one about done. Still going to have to sand it a little bit, but it's gotten most of the junk off of it. A couple of coats, paint remover. In all truthfulness, if this one wasn't so bad, I wouldn't have done this at all. And I don't recommend this as a best method. Just sanding, if you're going to paint them, just sanding was fine. If we had a sand blaster, that'd be wonderful, but we don't. So, I'm going to sand them. Right now, I've, I've got them sanded. I'm going to get some, I'm going to try CLR on the inside of here and see if I can't get these clean. That, I'm not sure what else to do with that. I know they make stuff, but I think I'm going to try CLR and see what it does. I've also got the rest of that. i got some gel stuff i got to try aluminum. A sponsor, but this one I've taken air out of because I had to get... I thought I was going to have to pull this valve stem because I thought there was bad stuff behind it, but once I got the air out of it started messing with it, I don't need to, so this one will be left alone. I don't want to get the tire removed that way. So, valve stem removal, of course, is just you use one of these tools, this little thing, to unscrew that little bit. And that's what that's the valve stem. And that's the part airs up. You have a tire that's leaking and there's no holes in it. A lot of times it's these. They're not too horrible, hard to change out. I'm gonna put a cap on this so I don't get junk down in the wheel. Um, pulled the weights off so that you got them off so I can get these clean good. So it's just now cleaning it up and then painting. So that's really all that's left, and we're not gonna get to it this time. Um We'll have a shot. Got these two are still drying, so they can't go on yet. Got some dirty fingerprints on them now because I've had to move them a couple times, but so you get the idea. And the car exhaust is rehung, so it's not a little pain down and flapping around. And you've got one alloy hubcap. <laughs> and then one dark gray have tap it out the side. So. And we'll have the other two on so I can show them better and go with that. And the shelf paper is still holding. It's been on there a couple months now. So. But the color of blue this shelf paper was for it faded was one of the colors I was looking for that is not available in the types of paint I want to use. Basically enamel paint. Currently it's out of stock where you have to buy a entire palette of it or flat six pack. I don't need a six pack, so I can't just buy three cans. And I thought about repainting this roof too on whatever color I did. If I did a blue, that was kind of part of this too. Do a blue roof. But yeah. Eh, it's not going to be right now. Maybe later. We'll see. So pardon us. It's uh, about the next week here. And just showing off how beautiful this rim looks. And I have no idea why he would want to refinish or repaint these. Notice my sarcasm. Um, this one here has got... Second worst, about the worst on the, about the worst finish wise, but the road rash is nowhere near as bad as some of them. But uh, yeah, after doing all the stripping and all that fuss with this one, I've decided I'm just gonna paint them, so it wasn't worth all the mess. Just as if we stripped them, and I saw there's gouges on here, so it's like eh. I'm still debating. I may grind some of this road rash off. 
I've already smoothed it out so there's no burrs anymore. I've done that on all of them other than this one. But uh, I've got some diamond grinding wheels and I may put one of those on and see. At least get a little better. Don't know. Still debating that. Not going to be show class anyway, so. Yeah, this is designed to be, what, a 10-footer? Goes with the rest of the car. If you're about 10 foot away, you can't tell that half the gray is the primer underneath. <laughs> yeah. Nice thing about having a gray car. <laughs> the not paint isn't noticeable until you get up to it. So, but uh, 120 and 150 gray grit is what I'm doing on this. When I was doing the original finish, I actually have some thousand or 900, thousand, fifteen hundred really fine, fine grit stuff that was going to be to get a nice finish on it and all. I decided I'm not doing clear coat. These wheels are just too far gone. It's not worth it. Yeah. And when we paint it, um, I don't know, let us know. What color do you think we should paint it? I'm going to show you the colors right now. I'll do a walk around the car since all four hubcaps have been spray painted. They're a little dirty now. I've been running around for work with them. Yeah. But I, I have to go meet with politicians this week, and I'm still leaving those stupid hubcaps on. Yes. No one's going to see my car anyways. So... That's why the uh, beard has been trimmed back. I haven't finished cleaning it up, but. <laughs> Nothing like having to wear a suit in June. Mm. At least I've got a summer suit. Pull a me and just wear the t-shirt that looks like you're wearing a suit. Just wear that. In all truth, is, I was told by the, it's my work that suggested that, the organization that I'm on the board for said, basically said that overalls would be good enough it's a it's an organization for septic so the septic industry so it's one of those things it's like yeah this suit's really not necessary but my work wants me to wear a suit so i'm gonna wear a suit <laughs> reminded of that scene in freaking um chernobyl where the guy for the coal miner comes down to the coal mine in a suit and everybody smacks him on the shoulder with the coal dust. Mm -hmm. In my defense, it is a linen suit, so, you know, it is washable. <laughs> if you're going to buy a summer suit, why not have something that you can launder? Yeah. I mean, I've, got a, I've got a fall. I've got a, a what's called a geologist. A presentation jacket which is the same way it's made of uh, material that you can just toss in a washing machine and wash mm -hmm. it and dry it and iron it if you really need to but if you pull it quick you don't have to <laughs> yeah so yeah you got to present it, and it may get worn too i'm back and forth on it didn't look as good but it's close enough to suit uh, i already told you my thing T-shirt with the suit on it. There you go. Or the T-shirt with the bikini. Just go, just throw everybody off. <laughs> well, considering how everyone's going to turn, whatever I wear, the jacket will probably get taken off and set on a chair or something. So. No. T-shirt uh, with the bikini. Gotcha. Okay. So, been working on. I'm all sanded. I'm out there. The one, the one with the wheel off, as you saw, had the worst road rash. I took this to it, which was unpleasant. It's a diamond cutter, which kept getting full of aluminum, the alloy from the wheels. So I kept having to clean it off, but I got it. This one was the second worst. And what I did was I took a file. It's a good hardened file. It's got cutting teeth on this edge as well as all the way around and on the back. And I just... With that basically all the way around and just to get the worst of it got the burrs off got it smoothed down got the worst of the bars off took it and scraped 
used that as a scraper scraped off the bars on the inside and then have uh and now i'm going back over it with sandpaper at 120 get it all nice and smooth get ready to wash everything with clr try to get any oxides off of it and i'll let it dry and i will go back with a degreaser by simple green right before i paint um still probably doing white i'm going to get some white primer at the very least because i decided i'm going to go with a light color most likely and if i don't i can use gray primer over the white primer but this one was the one that was really bad that's why the wheel came off everything else and it looks a lot better than it did but this was unpleasant to do and i couldn't just get it perfect because yeah i kept getting full and it just wasn't going to and this thing fell on its face and got soft pits in it so i gotta do that again so uh that's what that is oh and this was the one i was working on earlier as you can see i've cleaned up the inside i sanded that too got all the built up off of it didn't really take paint off the inside just getting the build up right right there but there's the face on this one and you can see this one didn't have much a little bit there i didn't really do too much to it sort a little bit but it's just kind of whatever it's not near as bad this one was horrible and the one i'm working on was second worst i'll live with it they're not going to be perfect but they're going to be better yeah we just coat we i say by we i mean he has just scrubbed them down with clr full strength full strength clr and about to spray it down with the water hose. Oh, well, I've actually started spraying. I'm spraying and scrubbing. Yeah, the, this it'll... is to get the on the back. I'm not going to get the back perfect. I'm getting the worst of it off. I've already sanded it and sanded the worst of the brake dust and road grime off. And then just getting this, getting loose stuff. Yeah, and more can. Pretty and... much. And we're just spraying it down with the water hose, letting it soak for like three to five minutes. Nothing long. Ah, about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, a few minutes. I scrubbed them down 18 one full hours. strength and scrubbed them <laughs> again full strength. And now I just hosed them real quick to re wet it and I'll start to scrub it. And I'm going to hose it again, scrub it again, and let it dry, and then it'll be ready for painting. Yep. Well, yep. Should be, hopefully. I may have to do another round of uh, degreasing on them, depending on how long it takes. Yeah. And these are the hubcaps here uh, that we're doing. This is about a week or so after they are initially painted. And we got the multicolored hubcaps because we are trying to see which one is going to be the best. So we're not doing multicolored rims. I think right now we're talking about doing white, which was on the other side. We'll go back around there and then perhaps do a pearlescent clear coat style over it but we're not sure yet what do you think what would look better on a beautiful not so brand new 2007 toyota yaris with a couple of minor dings and dents and things so something like that with the pearlescent is what we're thinking but you let us know Y'all vote. Tell us which one you like the best. I mean, we got the community tab, so we can definitely do a vote if you want. But let us know. Anywho, thank you for hanging out and hope you have a good one. We'll get back to you in another video with what color has been chosen.